So I think um, that right now, the National Cancer Institute just put firefighting, the profession of firefighting as an actual carcinogen. So we're uh, exposed to a lot of stuff, metabolic syndrome, cardiovascular disease, all these things. Uh, and, not, and then we put the mental health on top of it, right? So now we have PTSD, we have repetitive traumas and things like that. So our thing is, and the goal is, is to get somebody on, keep them on the job for 30 years, and then they can go on and spend 30 years in their retirement after their public service. So it started for us years ago when I was uh, an EMS chief, and I was asked to look at the workers' compensation data at that time. And I looked at it and uh, noticed that we had a lot of soft tissue uh, sprains and strains type things. And, and that's typical across the fire service, right? 40% of our reported injuries, whether or not on emergency call or non-emergency call, are sprains and strains. But looking at that point as to what it was that we had that was disability was all low back. So the first thing I do ironically was I called uh, uh, Mayor Reed's husband who was a physical therapist, doctor of physical therapy at the time who I had known for years and called him up and I go, listen, I gotta do something about this. Uh, you know, it's a small number, but uh, we gotta put something in place. So actually Mike Reed came out uh, and did a educational video for our personnel as far as force strength and conditioning, flexibility, um, and then we talked about body mechanics and it's kind of morphed since then. So currently today, all recruits go through a back injury prevention. We talk about uh, body mechanics, lifting and moving patients, tools and equipment, core strength, flexibility. And then we do some basic Olympic style lifting, kind of like a, uh, a CrossFit type thing for functional movement. But we do all firefighter functional fitness now. Um, those recruits also go to, I don't know if you're familiar with Cressy Sports Performance at all. So Cressy is a, uh, they're in Boston and in Florida, right down here. They do a lot of their recruitment work with um, baseball players, particularly who are going from high school to college, college to the pros and in the pros. So our recruits from day one uh, for 12 weeks are there every morning from 7 to 7 45 doing physical conditioning. They used to be called something else, right? Like initial. I think they were. Yeah. Yes. yeah they're right around the corner from me. Yeah. Yeah. It was something like something performance, but I know, yes, they were. Yeah. So, they, they, um, yeah, the baseball teams. Yep. Got it. Correct. So, what we've done is that's kind of uh, have morphed. And then later on, we had a doctor of uh, physical therapy, Gina LeClaire Hill who owns Hill Physical Therapy over in North Palm, who is doing a lot of our work. And then I had her look at our workers' comp data. She goes, you know, you have a lot of soft tissue injuries. She goes, have you guys ever thought about doing functional movement screening? So we now do functional movement screening every two years, and we do it for all new recruits. What was interesting is I just got the 2022 data. Out of 114 personnel, we had 17 personnel that didn't pass. We uh, had a um, Dr. Maury Kobler from uh, a PhD from Nova Southeastern PT came in, did the functional movement screening and then prescribed them exercises, went back and did a follow up six months later, uh, 15 out of the 17 were no longer considered at risk. The two that were left had orthopedic surgeries in the past and they probably have met their maximum. But so we've seen those kind of changes. So it's really about for us, you know, we put a lot of time, effort and energy and let's take the, the human being factor out of it. But, you know, they're employees. We want to make sure that we get them here and we're doing everything we can. I have a uh, mandatory 30 minute uh, physical, uh, physical training every day, but I also have a validated fitness test. Four years ago, we brought in somebody to do a validated fitness test as per their collective bargaining agreement right now. Uh, annually, they sit for that test. There's uh, six evolutions. They have six minutes and 37 seconds to pass it. Those who don't are placed on administrative leave or light duty, which they hate. Um, and they, uh, they have uh, three months and two tries to get through that. At that point, if they don't, we can terminate their employment. Right. So, uh, which is a little radical because most fire departments don't do that. However, you know, we give them all the tools that they need to do the job. I have a physical therapist. They give them monthly videos. They have 
three workouts that they do during that time. It's changed up. And we've included everything from hit workouts to strength and conditioning, cardiovascular and core strength and flexibility. So we'll put the time in. We've put a lot of time, effort and energy into that. But, uh, you know, our employees are our greatest asset. So whatever we can do to make sure that they're maintaining that their health and we can get them out of this career physically, mentally and emotionally uh, unscarred, for lack of a better term, uh, that's where we focused a lot of our efforts. OK, uh, it's great. We have we have something wonderful to to add to that and augment that program. Um, and you're the perfect person to start with, because if you find that it has value, then great. If you find it has no value, then we have to go back to the drawing board. Uh, and so uh, part of this team that we've put together uh, within this company, because we have other advisory members, health advisory people, um, but an executive advisory board. But Lynette Shaw is comes with a lot of experience, once the nation's uh, most uh, famous bounty hunter. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> bad way of putting it. I'm sorry, but she's you know she's comes with that. But New York City detective now retired, um, and also Dr. Russell Bourne, formerly CIA, you know Langley and all that, and then private practice and here in Jupiter, and then wow. myself. I've worked with Mike Reed for many years, um, uh, back before he sold to HSS and onward through that, and then. Um, and then obviously with Mayor Reed, I've known their family for many years and taking care of many of their friends and them and so forth. And then uh, Mike Jean is my partner. He's head of tech and uh, my partner in Vell and what we're creating as a company and as well as an app uh, for use here. Uh, so I'm going to ask them to weigh in on some of what we're going to show you. But I think the best thing is if we can take a few minutes, run you through the app uh, and what we've created and how it can be effective in uh, adding to the wellness program, that would be great. Okay. And, and either one of you, I think, um, I didn't want to do the introductions for you, but it's so much information. You're, you're so wonderful uh, to join us and obviously amazing people. But if you want to just speak to anything that the uh, chief has said, uh, please, before we get into the demonstration of the app, which is a full working app, uh, maybe a good time to do that. I don't know if we start ladies first, Lynn. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So I just moved down here um, and I've been traveling around the country. I worked 27 years on the job, uh, 13 as a fugitive investigator, um, international. And um, I was cast in a documentary called First Responders Sound the Alarm. Um, and it's about mental health, PTSD and police and first responder, first responder suicide. And so I've been cast in that. And so we've been going around the country training departments um, in mental health and wellness and, you know, talking about how to navigate the job. It's the same as what you're saying with, you know, with the least scars, you know, because the mental ones we know with stigma, we know that we don't want to talk about, you know, what, what we've seen and how we're dealing with that. And then on top of that, we know add in the, you know, financial relationships and all that on top of it. And it, it's, a, you know, it really is a recipe for, for a, a problem if we don't deal with it. And I love what you're doing uh, because uh, we need it. We absolutely need it. Um, I work with a firefighter um, out of Arlington, Virginia, who was at the Pentagon um, um, when the planes hit. And he's also in the documentary with me, as well as Chris Fields, who was at the Oklahoma City bombings. And, uh, and so we all together go around and we train departments. And we just really feel, I joined Vel because they're doing something amazing with this app. Uh, and I think that it could be of help as an asset to your departments, you know, different departments around the country. So that's why I'm here. Okay. It's a nice meeting you. Thank you. Same. Yeah, I, I, your description was uh, very impressive. I didn't know that uh, all of that was happening with your um, fire department. So it's just very nice to hear it. Um, I'm happy to respond to questions later, but I want to make sure you have enough time to see the presentation that Ken's got going that Mike have prepared so you can see what this app is all about. It's a okay. it's a pretty comprehensive app. It's very nice. Okay. And for my part, I, you know, with uh, family, military background, and uh, 
uh, some people I know, the friends are ex-cops and the firefighters. Uh, I have been uh, more than hard on all these uh, elements that you, uh, you mentioned. It's very, very, um, very true. And it takes a lot of fortitude to actually accomplish that mission and get out of it uh, unscathed as you try to, to achieve. So it, it's a very, very valuable task to undertake. Thanks, Mike. So uh, just to set the stage here, why is this different than every other app that's out there dealing with just the mental, emotional? Um, we know that there's a barrier that needs to be crossed with everyone um, before we get to the point where we can acknowledge the emotional, mental, uh, and he health uh, that, that we all need to acknowledge. And that's the fact that we generally are pain oriented. We're generally physically oriented beings. And this is an app that prioritizes what we want when we want and still has embedded in it a concern for the mental, emotional health. So your average first responder, they may be stressed and they may even know that they're stressed, but that's not as important as their back pain. They may not have back pain, but they may have migraines, and that's what's important. They may not have migraines, but they may have IBS, and their digestive disorders are keeping them from performing at their best, and that might be what needs to be dealt with. Um, and not just with drugs, but on a holistic level, and it might be tied to, of course, their stress, and of course it is tied to their stress, but they don't know what to do on a... So, so we offer a five-pillar program, and that five-pillar program is proprietary to us, and that's what they should eat and what they should should need as much of, because uh, you need both. Sometimes you go to a doctor and you just get a long list of don'ts, and no human being likes that. We just buck that. We we discard that and we go do what we want and we pop a pill or do whatever it is that's going to allow us to do what we want. But if we understand the balance, we're more susceptible to subscribe to that program and to that path. Uh, what supplements? Supplements. You go online. There's tons of people trying to sell you things. We're not trying to sell you any supplements. We're trying to give you guidelines and curate it for you so that you know exactly what's going to help you with what your concern is, specific to your concerns. Uh, what exercises are appropriate for you? You know, high intensity workouts, which people tend to think are what creates exercise, may not be appropriate for someone with migraines or arthritis, mm -hmm. but they still need to exercise. What exercises are they? We provide those within the app demonstrations, or we recommend places that they can access it based upon their zip code or what have you. The care, supportive care. Some people may think physical therapy is the NLB all, and I'm a big, big proponent of physical therapists. I work with Sailor. I work, obviously, that's how I met Mike Reed. And most of the people that have are in this community that are known are coming from his camp, right? So, so I'm a big fan. However, there's also chiropractic acupuncture, you know, all sorts of you know lymph massage and all these other therapies that need to be acknowledged and people don't know where to put them or how they fit in. We give you that. Um, and then you know of course there's the mental and emotional aspect. Binaural beats. Some people know it, some people don't. Simple as helpful frequencies to help calm the brain, put you in a space where you can receive uh, you know better better instruction, better uh, and see a better uh, a, a game board here of this is where I fit in and this is what I can do and this is how I can become better. Um, meditation, of course. We give meditations, we give access to it. Dr. Bourne provides some of this. We have hypnotherapists that provide some of it. So we do that. And furthermore, in about a month, we'll be a hub for all of those other apps so that you know, we're not trying to compete. We're not trying to say we're the best. We're trying to say that we're here to help. And if you're using Calm, we can pull in that data and, and put that into your program specific to what you're, you know, doing. Uh, if you're using Noom and weight loss and cardio or Fitbit or any of that will be, that data will be pulled in and contributed to your overall priorities, which today might be migraines, tomorrow might be IBS, next month might be weight loss so forth and so on. So we have about 28 programs that we've created, fully flushed out, all five pillars within there. All of them deal with stress and anxiety and their connection to pain and disease and so forth, nutrition and their connection, supplements, their connection, the treatments, and then of course, the mental emotional. 
So we'll run you through that real quickly. And uh, you'll be able to download the app, create a, a profile. Once you do that, just um, let us know or have your secretary, Ms. Stevenson, known Eileen. She said to call her Eileen, sorry. Um, and, and we'll give you VIP access to play around with it and see how, how well it is and then whether or not we can implement it with your crew. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Um, you should have access, Mike, if you want to pull that up. And uh, while he pulls that up, we'll be starting off with uh, the program arthritis, because that's something we all can understand. Um, and, and, and it's something that we've, it's populated. Uh, this is showing you a screen of someone who has already been checking in, and this gives an overview of where they are now and within each of the five pillars. Um, those circles are giving you sort of just a feedback and a look at yourself, if this was you, and um, you want full circles. So the, this is showing that the nutrition, you haven't done as much in the nutrition as you should. The fitness, when it comes back, we'll see that. The fitness, you know, you need to do more of that. The mind, you need to do definitely more of that. Supplements, you're also doing okay. Your supplements and nutrition, you're probably more prone to, to work on that. And your care activities need some work and attention. Um, and all of this goes against your symptoms. So when you check in with this app, which we'll, you'll see, um, here you get an overview of where you are, but we're going to go ahead and show you what it looks like once you check in and go through the process of taking a minute out of your day and uh, submitting your symptoms of where you are now. The AI will feed, give you a feedback of what you should do action-wise to uh, help yourself. And you can also set timers to do that accordingly to your schedule and reminders on a calendar and so forth and so on. So let's click continue, Mike. Mm -hmm. uh, a quick a quick note. Um, this application, uh, contrary to a lot of the uh, treatments that we see, uh, is not segmented. Everything is one whole system where all the parts contribute to a common goal. And this is uh, the way it was designed to bring people into a state of mind where they consider everything around them and every factor, uh, which is as important as the others because they all interact. Uh, so this is the um, uh, this is created by the AI and it's a, a, a snapshot analysis over a short period of time. So that this is basically your trend right now. If we look at it you know, a few weeks before it was, it will be different. And then as you continue, it'll actually keep evolving. So if we move to continue, uh, please take over doctor, if you want. No, thank you. That's very important because the intelligence behind this app, it, we make it look simple because simple is more attractive to the user, but the intelligence is really complex and every aspect of this is, is mathematically weighted, even down to your symptoms and down to the way that the AI um, then selects the importance of what you need to do to help with your symptoms. So good point, Mike. Thank you. Um, arthritis uh, management, again, here we are. Um, you're going to go through symptoms and the questions should be holistically based when you visit your physician because you're a person, you're not just your pain. So we make, we structure the questions accordingly. And uh, this starts with what is your level of pain? And we give you a conversation option, not rather than the one to 10, because that doesn't always compute um, well for people. So uh, in this case, we're going to be a person that it's all right today not in too much pain, we're having a good day. Um, however, are you feeling overwhelmed and anxious? We do connect stress with pain and inflammation. That is now part of the medical journals everywhere. That is now becoming widely accepted. And it's something that needs to be part of uh, an assessment. So are you feeling overwhelmed and anxious? Let's say um, medium on this one. How much fatigue are you experiencing? We know that energy and how we feel and how we're doing, uh, even with arthritis, can affect our energy. Uh, since we're not having too much pain, but we are feeling a little bit anxious, we'll say uh, medium. And we, we have a little bit of redness today. Uh, which is different than pain or swelling in specific. So we have a little bit of uh, redness, but it's manageable. And the swelling uh, is, is not too bad. It's all right. 
And the stiffness, though, there is some swelling, and I do have a little bit of stiffness, especially this time of day. I need to get moving. I need to do my workout later, but it's, it's, uh, let's let's say it's uh, it's been worse. So that's going to give us these particular items to do. It's going to start off with this particular user who has created these custom additions. And so in this uh, person's program, they decided that it was important not only to deal with arthritis, but to lose weight because the arthritis is obviously affecting their joints, um, the weight-bearing joints. And if they lose weight, that's going to help. So they added that as a customization and may have been also by re recommendation of their, their medical physician. So this is something that you're seeing now is an item that could be, uh, is, a, is an app that could be connected between physicians or HR in a company or in the, in the patient uh, or user. And the reason why this is important is because, you know, we're looking at, a, at, at one complaint, but from different directions. And this isn't, you know, this weight is, is something that I know many of my patients come to me and say, you know, I went to my orthopedic and they said, if I just lost some weight, and I, and I hate it when they say that, they may be right, but you know the thing is, is they're not giving them guidance, and this can fill in that gap in this instance. And this, and this is one of many examples. And actually, this is a, for the background. This is a lady, of course, 130 pounds, um, that as a as a goal. Um, also, you probably notice that this is a goal that is starting to be established, and we are working in deepening the concept of goal where a goal actually has to be achieved, can be achieved, and there is a profile and encouragement that converge from the, all the other elements into achieving the goals that people set for themselves. So then we're gonna be answering this. So, so let's say we're doing okay, almost there, and we go from there, stay hydrated. I did good, I, I had all my water, so I'm good on this. Then we move on to uh, all the, the elements from uh, the arthritis standpoint, I believe that, correct me if I'm wrong, doctor, but it is very likely every fire uh, EMT will eventually suffer from arthritis, from all the, you know, the joint problems and uh, uh, moving all the time and so on and so forth. So, and of course, they're going to be in, the, in a hurry most of the time, and they may prioritize, you know, greasy fried food, quick stuff, sugar, and possibly alcohol as well. And this is something that of course increases inflammation and therefore doesn't work very well. So it's something that has to be controlled uh, and mitigated. So they said that person said, well, I'm getting there. I was good on this one. Um, you'll notice that they actually can learn why this, uh, this is a problem. And we have a comprehensive library of uh, advice and details, uh, as well as the capability to listen to media. We'll see that later. That is related uh, to that particular uh, segment. Uh, so we are answer this. And the cardio exercise is very important because you can't carry the stuff if your, uh, your um, cardio capacity doesn't exist. If you can't breathe, then you can't do it. So this is actually... I need to catch up, I didn't do well, and take a nature bath. So please, doctor, uh, take over and uh, explain how the mind and, and the mindset actually interferes, uh, uh, contributes to, um, to the, the program. Yeah, can you go back to cardio? Please. Okay. Yeah, so uh, this one, you see a few more tabs. Not only is it, we were talking about specific exercises. This one will recommend brisk walks, swimming, cycling, aerobics, lightweight training, Pilates, dancing. So if you notice, it's not high intensity on the joint type stuff. We're not going to recommend stair classes or step, you know, or, or those sort of things. So that's key. Because if you go to a traditional doctor, they might say you need to exercise, but what does that mean? Right? So do you go into the gym and start pumping weights and then you're going to get worse? So that's why this is essential. Now we go back to the screen and let's show what the marketplace has. Well, that's a location, that's a map. So this shows you where you can go find those things that are specific to you, whether it's a Pilates class, yoga, or so forth. And then go back, Mike. And that's based on zip code, by the way, 
from when you sign in. Now go to marketplace. Can we do that here? Uh, yeah. Okay. So this is going to give you, we actually have uh, very talented individuals that are creating content for VEL uh, specific to our needs, and that is unique to VEL. So these are going to give you, uh, you know, just enormous amounts of access to things you can do on your own at home or at your office and so forth. Yeah. So go back. Great. And then what's also important here is you might, you receive these action items when you check in, but you may not be able to do fitness aspect right now. Maybe you're not a beginning of the day person, but you want to do it at the end of the day and you want a reminder. Let's go to calendar. Click that. Mm -hmm. And then you can set your timer and the days that you want it at a specific time. Mm -hmm. So at your convenience, you can accomplish your goals uh, pertaining to what you need. And you can make it recurring. Actually, this is a, a, a very interesting feature because you can make that recurring daily, but you can also uh, make it recur multiple times a day. Uh, this actually applies where people need to have, uh, let's say, even take their meds. That could be a one factor or any type of action that has to be repeated. They can be reminded into a fully integrated um, application. So and what you see here actually is the, the calendar, but the mobile application uh, version also has direct notification from the phone itself because the phone has its own scheduler. So we leverage both. Mm -hmm. So, and then uh, this particular recommendation from the mental emotional aspect is saying take a nature uh, bath. So that's going to be more like your nature bathing or forest bathing, uh, where you go walking, you uh, breathe in the terpenes from which are known to help us, you know, from the forest or from the trees or from nature. Uh, generally, green is helpful in reducing stress and helpful in our body finding balance and homeostasis. And these will put, uh, place out, show you different parks and places. And this is obviously going to be Huntington Beach because that's where Mike is right now. So yeah. <laughs> show him those parks uh, that he can go for nature uh, nature bathing right now. Okay, this is where I go. This is where I go walking right here. That's a perfect place. Yeah. Beautiful. Now, so remember... These recommendations that you're seeing today, uh, Chief Pryor, is specific to the symptoms. But within the arthritis management program, there's about 30 plus different suggestions. And based upon those symptoms, it's going to pull out in the individual ones from each of the five pillars. Right. So it might not be nature bath. Uh, depending on the symptoms tomorrow, it might be Tai Chi or it might, I mean, sorry, it might be uh, so more positive social engagement or something like that. Mm -hmm. Tai Chi would more be under the fitness. So, right. And the way this works is that we have a standard program when you start, uh, we use the weighing of the factors uh, as the, the starting point. And then as people progress, we analyze how well they are doing in every one of the steps and we bring in new steps. When something is achieved, we go on to the next one and the next one. And if something starts failing, then we bring it back so that they have a constant feedback on multiple angles. Uh, of course, it would be unpractical to answer 25 or 30 questions every day. So th that's the way the AI works it so that it keeps it short and very focused on what is the most imp important uh, part to, to deal with at this particular point in time. Right. And click on supplements. Let's see what supplements were being recommended. So, um, you know, it's telling you, uh, don't forget your supplements. And these are the ones it's recommending. Celery seed, uh, it tells you why high blood pressure, which is common with arthritis. You get people which also have high blood pressure. Um, reflux, uh, arthritis is inflammatory in nature. So we know that inflammation starts in the gut. So we need to maintain a healthier gut. Um, Wolbenzyme is a systemic enzyme, uh, bromelain and papain, 
bromelain coming from pineapple and papain coming from papaya. So, the, you know, it gets into alkaline water, turmeric, which has become more popular, ginger, which has become more popular, and, you know, uh, probiotics and all these things. And it educates you as to why and how. And so while you, you know, there's many ways to, to, to do this, there, it kind of really just, again, curates it for you, educates you, and helps you to co-manage your own health. Um, and again, you can set the calendar to take your supplements if you're more of a morning person or a night person or afternoon person for supplements. And then if you need to find out where to get them, which is very important, a uh, big question for my patients, at least, they'll do locations on where to, uh, to uh, um, obtain your supplements. And if you're traveling, actually, you can actually uh, find other places. So it's one of the important parts as well. So let's say we took our supplements. Yep. And now schedule acupuncture um, is, is key and, and tells you why. Uh, very important for arthritis, very important for inflammation overall, but definitely arthritis. Um, and, you know, you can it's going to weight it accordingly. So it's not something it's expecting you to do every day. Uh, it's just going to, you know, look at whether or not you're doing it at least uh, weekly. You can click done. And now what you can do is you get your today's, you, well, you have a few things. So what else I can do is going to be more for a person who's been doing this for a while and maybe curious as to other options for today, any action items. So Here's one, if you click that, it says, make sure you do 20 minutes um, of slow moving exercise. So that's adding to your list for today. If you wanna be aggressive, just like the person who goes to the gym, maybe they, you know, they're part of a workout and they say, well, if you wanna modify, right? You wanna do something harder. That's kind of what we're giving the option for our users to do. Yep. So your evaluation comes up shows you a glimpse of your flower, which is representing you. Where are you? Are you full? Are you balanced? Or are you lacking in certain areas? And what are those areas, right? So we want a full balanced flower in life. And, um, you know, so this is going to give you your feedback and you can get your details on each of the areas of what you can do better. And, you know, for the first time, a person can be held accountable, right? They can hold themselves accountable. They can see how their actions equal what they're feeling. And, you know, we're at a time where there's, we're running out of choices, right? Medications, most of them aren't working or the side effects uh, far outweigh the, the benefits after a time, after a while. Um, surgeries are not always the answer and sometimes create more problems. And, and so what is the user, the patient, the employee doing? Um, and that they could be doing better in order to see the results that they're looking for and achieving their life goals. So this gives you a glimpse of that and how to 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 work that into a day and to be held accountable. And um, so it gives you your feedback. And now you'll see also your progress. Uh, Mike, you can show the what's Actually, next. The, the what's next is uh, the the system will compute what is the the next three good things you could do for yourself based on what we, we've seen. In this case, it's all nutrition. So, mm -hmm. because the system decided that would be important to actually reinforce at this time. And then, so we could add these items to the daily regimen and uh, then they will be uh, responded to and then tracked from now on. Yep. So we're gonna go back, yes. And then we can, well, I'm gonna remove them from now, so we don't change the outcome of our current session. So you want to go to progress, doctor, right? Yeah, this is where it really gets interesting. I mean, so far it's wonderful. You're educated, you're feeling empowered, you're feeling accountable for yourself and your well-being, And you can share this uh, with your physician, with HR, with your counselor, whatever it is, your health advisor um, and, and stay on track. However, What's nice is that you can click on history and uh, and get a full look at your health trends over 30, 60, 90 days or more. So your next visit with your physician after they told you, hey, this is what we're going to do. This is what you should do. I'll see you in six months, which is typical because, you know, physicians are bogged down. 
there's uh, especially in this area, it's hard to get in on a regular basis and you don't really get much handholding. So during that time, what do you do? Do you forget everything you were told about diet, losing weight, so forth and so on? No, you can stay on top of it and you can see what aspects of these action items actually work for you based upon your symptoms, measuring against your symptoms and your trends. So the white line is your symptom and the overview is a green, and then you can zone in on each area and see how nutrition affected your symptoms versus fitness, you know, uh, mind supplements, all of it. So we're, we know, and you know, as well as I do, Chief, that one employee is gonna be different than the other, metabolically speaking, psychologically speaking, all of it. And we all respond differently to different stimuli and different courses of action. And so some people, they're going to see better returns on their mental, emotional commitments. Uh, some are going to see better returns on the shift in their fitness commitments, and some are going to see it better in their nutrition and supplements and so forth and so on. And some are going to see it better by adding care options. This will help with all of that. This will help to document it. This will help to keep track of it and will help to give a picture of it. We are, uh, we are creating, we've submitted a, 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 a whole program which we sat on many meetings for the country of Guyana and their concern, well, they looked at this app and they loved it. And they think as a population, they'll benefit, but they as a government need to tackle diabetes. So they asked us to create and drill down into what we've created here, pull out some significant pieces and look at a, a, a diabetes type app, Vel, Vel for Diabetes. So we've done that and we're in the process of doing it and creating it for them. Um, and so interestingly enough, they need iridology, pictures of the eyes, they need uh, because of the, the poverty level, they need a certain amount of it be done offline you know, all of this sort of good stuff. And so these are all opportunities that we have as well to, to really drill down into certain uh, really focused ailments uh, that might be plaguing uh, first responders, fire department specifically, and to give not only a, a full look at it and the use of it, tracking it, all the dietary recommendations and everything that you see in the information. But more importantly, there's also a reward system embedded in the app. So provided you're using it, you're enjoying it, there's a gamification uh, there and a reward system that's part of it. So we can look at, at that now. And that reward system can equal whatever. Hang on a second, I need to, to go back uh, to rewards. There you go. That reward system can be whatever you like it to be. So we, it, it's, it's going to be based on two things. One, frequency, you know, and also longevity. And that's what we want. And so what is, what will the rewards be? There can be partnerships that we're created externally. It could be monetization. Uh, it can be discounts. It could be all sorts of uh, interesting things. It can be a day off. Um, an extra day off vacation. So there's there's ways of implementing the reward system, which is part of the app already, and how that equals certain benefits um, specific to your department. And I think overall, I think we've, we've gone over the crux of everything. Pretty much, we uh, this is the, the library of audio and video elements. That also includes, by the way, if we go into the, the marketplace, um, recipes uh, that are actually matched to the particular ailment. So that very, very important to do this. And all these uh, participate into, in a play, very pleasant way, by the way, into making people better uh, in, in the overall context. So question, so um, what I really like is the, the five parts equal up the total, right? I think those pillars really kind of hit on total wellness, 
You know, I think there's a lot of apps are very custom, right? You either have nutrition, you have exercise, or you have mental health, but you don't really have it all joined together. So I think the fact that those pillars are there and you're looking at each one of those being a sum of the total of where your health is at that point is a really good concept. Um, Thank you. Thank there. You. Um, so is I know you have arthritis on there, doctor. You mentioned IBS. There's, yep. you know, are, are we looking at other things like metabolic syndrome, hypertension? Are there yep. going to be a list of diseases specific to that individual? Um, and how many of those are going to be there? How extensive does that get, that list? Well, that list, like I said, right now, we have about 28 major complaints. Okay. Right? Most common. Uh, you see you see those? Uh, so we'll start at A. And, uh, we'll start okay. at the top. Yeah, most common. So arthritis, acne, alopecia, anxiety, um, back pain. Asthma, yeah. back pain. That keeps COVID, going. COVID, depression. Depression, erectile dysfunction, female fertility, fibromyalgia, heart disease, headache management, hypertension, like you just asked, IBS, insomnia, big one, um, Lyme disease, menopause, migraines. So menopause is like hot, you know, with hot flashes as well as a main focus. Um, obesity, PMS, uh, reflux, GERD, which is huge, uh, shingles, type two diabetes. Now, as and we can we keep doing we as as things come up we have trends that we're we're working on uh, looking at and then releasing now go back to the optimize mike here's an interesting um option as well so say right now one of those uh complaints are not um one of those complaints are not what you're looking for you have an optimize my wellness, which is based on balancing out. So what you go through is a series of questions. And those questions will ask you things that, you know, look at metabolics, look at, you know, uh, your appetite, frequency of urination, how, what your temperature is, all these sort of things, which then put it through a sort of an Eastern Ayurvedic pathway through the AI and then give you a, a, a program to follow based upon that. So it's not specific to an ailment, it's specific to your imbalances and how we balance you. Um, so even there, we we have an opportunity for that. And that what you just saw was a look at that. And, um, and so then it will give you that, uh, so that's a customized program, right? Did we answer your question, Jim? Yeah. So uh, again, I, I like the concept of it. So it's interesting as you're going through this, I'm kind of looking at the, the spectrum of my employees. So I have 19 year olds that, uh, you know, I, I, I uh, uh, as Lynette could probably say, you know, it's no different from fire or police department, but, you know, I manage 114 alpha personalities, you know, type A alpha personalities. And Russell probably knows exactly the type I'm talking about as well. So I have these, you know, I go into the gym and I work out with my, I'm in the gym with my uh, deputy chief who has a app on his phone that has a private trainer who has come up with a customized uh, program for him. Not much on diet, but it's this 20 minute little hit workout to be able to go through. Um, so, and looking at that, just a couple of things I saw in there. And one of the things I was kind of curious about, do you have anything on the app as far as sleep hygiene goes, as far as sleep habits and sleep health? Yes. Okay, good deal. All right. Well, we're we're in, in the end, there, there are two points. There is a piece in, um, uh, in the arthritis because that includes good sleep as well to, for full rest, but that particular user has fulfilled that need. So it didn't come up. But if you look okay. at insomnia, of course, it'll be focused essentially on, on sleep. Okay. So and, one and also too, sorry to interrupt, but you know, enough. Dr. Bourne sent me this Wall Street Journal article uh, over the weekend. But you know, we're already we're 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 paths for that, whereas we'll be pulling in data like the aura ring or wearables that deal with uh, sleep as well. So not only are we recommending it, but if they are tracking it already and they we want to we can pull in that information and give them credit for that, not only for the rewards that it offers through the gamification aspect, but 
for the rewards it offers through being well. Mm -hmm. Of course. Um, the, so if on the mental health, if I'm drilling down in on the mental health and it talks to me about how I'm feeling, is there a certain point in the app where it says at one point you would recommend reaching out to a therapist or, or somebody based on what they're telling you on the app? So on that mental health piece, you know, I, I'm anxious. Anxiety kind of runs in with depression and drilling in a little bit. And, and are there some kind of little factors that say, you know what, based on what you're telling us, our recommendation is to maybe reach out to a mental health care professional. Those pieces are in there as well. Yes. Correct. It, it would okay. just be a question of modifying the content uh, in, in the AI. Okay. I see. Um, the, uh, so a lot of the, so I'm looking at this uh, across and I think there is some definite, some application and, and some real value, especially, um, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of strange because I have the young kids that are very technology driven who really like this. And then I got that kind of middle layer who's the hard chargers, right? It's all CrossFit it's going out to the gym and it's doing it, but they don't really typically have the physical, you know, in the fire service right now, it's kind of, uh, um, you know, the, the recommended diet is the Mediterranean diet, right? And then there's all these apps that you can get on the Mediterranean diet. And for us, we do all firefighter functional fitness. So I can have a guy that's really fit, but if he can't last 30 minutes with a bottle during the first, you know, half hour of a fire, he's no good to me. Yeah. So um, we got away from years ago, the traditional bodybuilding, you know, I got rid of the hundred pound dumbbells and all that. We changed them for kettleballs, medicine balls, all that other stuff and had somebody specific come in and design, you know, we're firefighters. What we do physically is push, pull, lift, carry, and drag. So all of our fitness is based on that, including core strength flexibility. So uh, I love the video section of that. I think a lot of times you cannot explain an exercise in writing it really has to be somebody looking at a video explaining that now on those videos i'm just curious is there modification so if i'm doing an exercise but yet i have a shoulder problem do they talk about modifying that for people who might have shoulder pain during the exercise well we have exercises for shoulder pain in the media okay so we yeah. have would be now now that being said because of the way we've structured the company, the good thing is, is you could say to us, I have this wonderful guy. We would like, you know, some of his segments on there. We have a studio, we can put him on, we can, <laughs> we can right. offer that specifically on this app. And we can create a, 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 a verb version of this app that really deals specifically the way you want to deal with. Right. The, the programs you, you, you've seen is not cast in stone. It's very, very uh, customizable uh, and very simply customizable. It's been designed that way. Otherwise, we would never be able to create 28 or we actually have 65 programs uh, if we didn't have an engine that has the flexibility to, to have multiple moving parts at the same time. Now, as it is, as it is, you know, you can customize in a sense that you can say, I, you know, I just don't believe in acupuncture. I understand that's good for me, but I don't want that to be part of my program. And I don't want it to count against my rewards. You can remove that. Mm -hmm. I understand. Right. So there's those elements as well. So we're conscious of the fact that we're, we might be dealing with different um, cultural and social uh, individuals, socially adept individuals. And, and we don't want this to be a turnoff. We do want them to start somewhere and the somewhere is different for everyone. Right. So that's the way it's created. But what we also want, Chief, is what you said. We want it to be as integrated and as complete, realizing that nothing is ever fully complete and something that they self-manage because self-discipline contributes to self-motivation, which is clearly what they need in their work. But also we think if they will, if we can help them be, uh, if we can help them value what it feels like to accomplish their own health, right? 
Um, as a psychologist, I think there's hardly anything that feels better than self-discipline. Uh, you just you just feel good. Uh, your mood's improved. Your diet's improved. Your relationships with others are improved. You're improved. And so this app is also designed to sort of help people acquire a bit more self-discipline by helping them stay motivated to complete today's or this week's task and then having a historical record for them to look back and say, not only did I do it, look at how when I gave my reports of how I felt, I felt better when I did it. Because sometimes it's hard to say to someone, it's hard to get an accurate answer. For me, if you ask me, Russell, how'd you feel in the middle of October? Well, God, I just don't know how I felt in the middle of October. I can't tell you. And so when my physician says, let's look back at what was happening last summer, um, were you doing things differently in the summer than you are now? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't really remember. But then if my wife is there, she says, well, as a matter of fact, you know, you were sleeping more, or as a matter of fact, you really were biking more regularly or whatever it is, where if I have this app, I can say, well, let me look and see, you know what? I was eating better. I was exercising more. I, I did the things that the app was suggesting and son of a gun, if I didn't feel better. Right? What makes that correlation? of it what does. you've done and how you're feeling at the time, which I don't know that any other app really has that. That's very unique in that aspect where you can look back, see where you were, see how you felt, get all that information in. So that's that's um, something I haven't seen before. And get it across all five pillars, as you were saying. Right. And there is an additional uh, capability, which is we can easily create a companion app for uh, the uh, healthcare providers with the agreement, of course, of the patients to actually look at, be able to follow uh, their patients very quickly and very efficiently. Have and, you and, gotten and, any, I'm sorry, go ahead, Lynette. No, I'm just saying it's in line with what you're already doing. And it's a holistic approach that I think for us, you know, um, it, you, you can't get it anywhere else because you want to look at the whole person instead yeah. of just, you know, mental, physical, and, and specific to the job that we do um, and what right. we need for that. So what you're doing already, this is like so much more in line because what you put out there to begin with, this just like, it feels like it fits, you know, a, a part of the puzzle to just bring it all together so that they can now monitor. And for me, excellent to go back and monitor what I, where I was, where I am now. And it shows also administration that you are really building up and working towards uh, a goal that, that you can absolutely achieve. Um, and then would we be able to, so it's very funny, Lynette, you'll know uh, based on how firefighters and police officers are about administration or HR knowing anything about their, their, their personal lives or anything that's going on with fear that there's going to be some kind of retribution, they're going to lose their job. Absolutely. But is there a way to look at those, um, uh, that data just to where it trends? In other words, I don't need to know Ooh, on a is. specific, I just want to know in general how everybody's doing. Yes. Okay. Right. Yeah, because what we do is we will report to the department uh, the globality of what's going on. Okay. And, and we and can even exclude, depending on, you know, if you have a lower number of people, uh, even global data can identify one individual. So what we can, we have a threshold where we can blur that line and exclude data that would actually point out right. to a single individual or a group of two or three people. Okay. Uh, right now, what we do is we do a pretty annual comprehensive physical. I'm not sure if you know, but there's a, a, a an NFPA physical 1582, which is occupational physical for firefighters. It's a three hour physical, essentially. Um, and it's we do it every year. It's pretty comprehensive. But what I do is I get kind of that trending. So they'll say to us, listen, this year we identified people with uh, metabolic disorder, hypertension, and this, and to see and kind of track that a little bit. And then what I can do is go back to uh, Dr. Gutchek, who does my workouts, and say, hey, listen, what we're seeing is hypertension. A lot of people are now creeping up obesity-wise. Maybe we need to 
spend a little bit more time on cardiovascular fitness, burn a little more of those calories or doing that. Because, you know, as I do, we're all data, you know, inundated. And, and, and I, I hate to say that I'm driven by data, but I like to be data informed because a lot of that is going to trend on where we're going. So I have all that data. What I do with it is probably more important than just having it. And, you know, it's great to have if I'm not doing anything with it. So we can take that. And I think that's a really important piece because organizations could take that and they could trend where they're going overall with their personnel. Now, what I can do is I can go into my collective bargaining agreement and say, hey, listen, for those of you who participate in this and for those of you who show marked improvement, we can give you eight hours added to your personal time at the end of the year. It, uh, what we found is, is that people are motivated by, like you guys have, have mentioned, reward. So getting that to be able to do that and looking at that data so I can say, hey, listen, we're seeing something overall and in general and people coming about, I think is, is huge. Have you guys, are you familiar with, there was a company out of Boston called O2X? I'm not. Um, no. So O2X was similar, but, but not to the point where you guys have it. We originally contracted with them to do it and they came in, they did functional movement screening for all our, all our personnel. Uh, I didn't have the piece of having somebody come back every six months to reevaluate them. But what the crews really liked about it was the app on the phone that they loved. What happened was O2X came back the next year, even before they finished out their contract with me and got rid of that piece. And my <laughs> people didn't want it. They were done with it. They said, if I can't take it to the gym and throw it on there or be able to put it on my phone, it's of no use or no value. So we actually stopped contracting that with them. Um, but what I'd like to do is, and if it's okay with you guys, when you send me that information to access the app, I have a very, very involved health and wellness committee. And what I would like to do is get their feedback on this because they're very well connected. You know, it, up here in administration, we have a little thing, we, nothing, nothing about them without them, right? So I don't make decisions. At my level, I haven't been on a fire truck in 25 years, so I shouldn't be the one talking about equipment. I shouldn't be the one talking about tactics and strategies. I got people out there. So what I really like to do is kind of get their pulse for things and see and get their feedback because I, quite frankly, I think I can drive it, but I think they're gonna give you the better feedback for what they're actually doing and what they feel is really good. Mm -hmm. Because again, what I do, what they do are two similar things. It's got to be functional for them because they're going to be mostly the end users is to be able to grab that. Mm -hmm. um, so if I could give that, let them look at it and say, listen, I need you to take the next two weeks, take a look at this. Um, I got to tell you, they're, they're similar things, but they're not collective like yours is. So I would have to do maybe three different apps to get what I'm getting on this app, which is really joining that together. Um, I think Lexapol, uh, who is, uh, was a risk management thing, added a piece to their policies and procedures about mental health and going through that. But that's separate from the exercise videos, from everything else, and they're not going to do that. They really need one platform to be customizable to them to be able to see. So I really, really like the concept. I really like the fact, even more important, that it's very customizable which makes it usable for everybody. So um, what I'd like for them to do is kind of take a look at it and see. And then even thinking a little further down is getting you on a conference call with them and just getting your feedback. Um, and then if we needed to take it to a larger thing, I can get you guys in front of the Palm Beach County Fire Chiefs Association um, and let them and do that presentation and then kind of look at it a little bit but I really think there's there's a lot of good stuff that's here. Um, and I think it's if you get a chance, we have we have two websites that the city that the fire department hosts. It's um, pbgfrresilient.com and then pbgfrwellness.com. So you'll see our videos, you'll see our stuff on the uh, behavioral health side, you'll see our stuff with our mental health care providers that are on there now our peer support teams, critical incident stress. You'll see what we've been doing now. So we contract with uh, uh, a doctor of physical therapy to do our monthly videos. 
We contract with a nutritionist who gives us monthly articles and recipes that are currently on there now. Uh, our chaplain is on there. So you'll kind of get an idea of what we're, we're currently doing now, but what we're doing now is not the same as what you guys are doing. And I think this is a really good augmented piece to that. Um, so what I'd like to do is, is, again, if it's okay, if you send me that information, I'd like to send it out to them, uh, maybe to a few more of my staff so they can look on the administrative side of it. Um, one of the only things I would do is in any presentation is, is about mentioning anything about going to HR. <laughs> Because as soon as they think that this is going to be a tie into administration, Lynette knows they're going to be cut off. But oh, she's, um, warned, she's warned us several times. And, <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. and Chief, it, you know, what, what you could present it as is that you want to give them a tool to be able to exactly. help them be better. And 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 that, I mean, the, the real... Uh, it, it's not tied to EAP. It's not tied. Right. We can't see it on our side. Um, you know, we we just get gen, we will just get general data to see what the trends are. For instance, what if there's you know exposure uh, to something that you don't know about, and and everybody now, one person has exposure, but we didn't know that 10 others and you find out on the app, Hey, what's, what the hell is this exposure, new exposure? Right. There's 10 people that's, you know, so it's going to, I think it's a really good, like you said, augmentation to what you're already doing and mm -hmm. it's in one place and that we, we definitely will not say. And, and that's one of the reasons why I am, you know, invested in this is because I know us. We're not going to buy into anything where it seems that, you know, um, what are what are they really doing? What is administrate? They're, are they conjuring up something to, you know, catch us, you know, wrong or something? You know, you know how we think. And oh, so yeah. just to assure them that, look, we need you for 30 years. You know, right. we, we're, we're not trying to, you know, stick a monkey wrench into this stuff. We We want to help you to be well and to be able to enjoy your life at the same time you know the life unfortunately some of us our life is the job mine has never been that you know it, i happen to be a police officer that is not my identity you know it's it's just not my identity and so that's where we want to bring them to be healthy so you can keep your job but also healthy so that you can keep your home we know our right. stats right <laughs> Yeah, and there's another thing. Is there there's a substance abuse piece to this somewhere in there? Because as you know, you know, it's it's all self-medication, right? So if they're what we would like them to be able to do is realize, like Dr. Gray said, that my back pain might be all from stress or anxiety or depression. And what am I doing about that? And then how do I get through that? And now how am I not self-medicating myself? because I'm going to start self-medicating myself and then I'm going to have problems. You know, there's, I haven't in 32 years, anybody that's had a problem with drugs or alcohol here on the job has already had issues at home with their family, their marriage. And it's just so interconnected. So mm -hmm. having that piece where they can do that. I mean, you know, and I was just about to say that. So great that you brought it up. You know, we're, we're coming out of a time where so much focus was on the mental, emotional aspect of suicide at work and all of it and it's important but you, you beat it too much and then people start to push it away that's the problem so now your wife's telling you hey you're stressed and you need to do this and you need to do this app and you and everybody's about the the, the mental emotional it starts to become over overdone so we're we have this opportunity where yes the mental emotional is there it's a foundation but you're not getting beaten in the head with it. So no matter what you're dealing with, whatever your priority is, which is most of the time, like I said, gonna be physically oriented, mm -hmm. in there is a component where you have to acknowledge that there's the mental, emotional component to it. Yeah. Right, so, so, and it tells you why, and it'll get you connected to it. And that's, the, that's also another first. I don't know anything out there that does that. Everything it's no, just- No, I here. haven't seen. And, and I, I do a lot of research and I, I do a lot of looking. I haven't seen anything that is this complete 
uh, that really, I, I think you hit it on the head with the five pillars and the overall health and wellness of somebody physically, mentally, emotionally, and doing that on there. But what's really nice is if I do have arthritis, are there things that I can do? What am I doing? Because you know, you're going to wait months and months to see your doctor. He's going to walk in. You're probably not going to see the doctor. You're going to see a PA or a nurse practitioner who's going to go over your labs and tell you to keep on your medicine and we'll see you back in six months. Let me know if you have a problem. They're not going to do that. And at the very least, they might hand them a little bit of paper that talks about their diet and what to do or exercise, but it's going to be not be that it's not going to be readily available. It's not going to be on my phone. It's not something I could do two minutes on a bus ride home or just sitting, waiting in between meetings where I could jump on my phone and constantly have that feedback. Uh, I think the other thing that you nailed it on the head is it's very easy to navigate and it's accessible and it gives a lot of data. So I definitely think there's something there.